for a decision so vital to our lives. We must be informed. No one is disabled, like me, like Elspeth, you know. And, and yes, he has got a terminal disease, but lots of disabled people have, and they live good lives. If the law changes, the danger will be we, will be, we will be on the list. And also, it will change attitudes in society even more for the worse. The graves are here as a representation of people who've died. And also, it's about grave matters, it's about death. So we decided to put information that people didn't know in a graveyard. Ultimately, the message that we want people to take from this installation is that it's dangerous. We want people to pause and consider the possibility that it's a mistake. And there's all these people, all these very, very vulnerable people who will be at risk. I know what he's going through. I was in intensive care five months. All I could move was my right eye. I had a disease like his. I didn't pick up a cup of tea for over two years. I had a one-year-old child. I have never picked that child up from him standing on the floor. I know how much this can hurt. It can break your heart. What a sad and horrible world it's going to be. And by the way, if this becomes legal, like in other countries, palliative care goes out the window, doesn't it? You know, now you can get euthanasia if you've got anorexia, if you're depressed. Uh, the new one is a completed life. You don't have to have anything wrong with you. You can just say, I'm done, and you'll be euthanised. Where's it going to end?